What's up, Cancerians? I'm Laurel, and welcome to Laurel's motherfucking moon and this bitch. Join me as I read you your motherfucking lives, baby. Thank you to everyone who's liked, shared, commented, subscribed to my channel. You already know I appreciate each and every single one of you motherfuckers. Yes, I do, baby. And if you need to get a personal reading from me, make sure that you hit the description box down below. Check out my website, laurelsmoon.com, for any other magical purposes and deviation workings and things of that nature. So, Spirit, you are welcome in to this reading. You must sage the cards for all of my lovely Cancerian gods, baby. This is going to be for the 11th through the 18th. For June 2020, we're going to get the overall energies, uh, what's going on in love, what you don't see, okay, or the things that you need to know about, possible outcomes, and just the overall energy exchanges between you and your loved ones, baby. So, Cancerians, I did have some clear audience messages. Okay. Some of you guys uh, could be dealing with someone in the past. Um, that wants to shower you, okay, because I did see the Ace of Cups and also the Empress energy. So, Cancerian, somebody's either wanting to give you the love or shower you in love because I keep seeing the Three of Cups, the Empress, okay, and the Ace of Cups. Like, these are tall tail motherfucking signs of somebody that is definitely loving you, okay? I'm just picking through the cards and it's still, they're like, sticking together okay but definitely empress ace of cups i feel like somebody's sticking together or there could be a situation where somebody is definitely wanting to deal with someone long term but they're also wanting to see how they're going to shower them over time okay so i do see somebody manifesting a love here let's get right on into it i'm going to get these life purpose cards and then we're going to see the overall energies for my Cancerians. So here we go. Life purpose cards for my Cancerians. And then just your energy of what you might experience for the month or just what's crowning you all together. We have protected. You are safe and supported while you change your career. Okay, so somebody is definitely thinking about changing their path. Could be concerning other people, uh, you know, and what you're getting ready to change and what's coming about. I feel some of you guys are going to have to analyze and watch people, okay, or somebody's definitely watching you that's protecting you. This could be, I did see the page of swords as I was shuffling too, so just keep that in mind. But definitely somebody who's protecting themselves. Hearts, desires, your angels are supporting, guiding, and protecting you as your dreams become a reality. So, Cancetti and somebody is definitely thinking about their reality, okay, coming true in this lifetime, baby. But I'm getting a lot of support. Your life's purpose fully supports you. So, think about that internally, okay? I feel like there could be some things that you have helped people with, and you're definitely going to be getting that same reciprocity in return and support in return okay i feel a lot of you guys are definitely thinking about how you're understanding your teaching right now this could be just life experiences okay but it's a lesson this could also be classes on what your healing sessions okay seminars some of you guys could be thinking about doing certain sessions i'm also getting a uh, very openness to religion or spirituality all together can settings give me one more we have author, you have a book inside of you that wishes to be expressed. Make the time to write it. So there could be some things you need to write down or somebody's in your overall energy needs to write some shit down and organize a motherfucking lot. Okay. <laughs> but you got options. Can set in, consider the career possibilities that are open to you. So let's see what Tarot has to say for your overall energy. Some of you guys could be dealing with somebody who's very sensitive or you could be that sensitive person, Can set in. That's looking behind their back to see if somebody is telling them lies, okay? Or if they have to watch their back, especially with that page of swords. Give me the overall energies for my Cancerians, okay? We got the Hermit here. 
and you also have the high priestess so this is definitely something that is coming about that is magical up in this motherfucker it could be somebody who has a real special gift with wisdom with the high priestess the hermit energy here this is you heightening your spirituality sitting in your truth as well too I'm also getting some of you guys could have been searching in the dark or there was something that was dark that you were searching for and now it's going to be coming to light with that high priestess here some of you guys might be taking on that Piscean energy, also that Tauran energy. But I definitely see you sitting in some truths. The High Priestess is the most heightened spiritual card in the motherfucking deck, Kent said. And so I definitely see with the Hermit, the High Priestess, somebody is almost on genius level with their wisdom, their counseling. I'm also seeing uh, somebody is, a, is someone else's spirit guide, okay? But I definitely see a lot of wisdom here. The hermit could be wisdom. They could be standing alone. But I see some of y'all got some house shoes. <laughs> y'all got them slides, baby. That you're researching something, okay? I definitely see something with comfortability in your feet as well. And your positioning and your posture, Kent said. And some of you guys need to think about your posture. And I'm also seeing uh, the comfort of your feet. Some of you guys could have swollen feet as well from sitting but I'm definitely getting with the hermit energy high priestess the overall energies are definitely telling me that you got some real serious spiritual gifts that's coming in okay that you could be writing the hermit could be a writer and author as well too also could be a scientist two of cups judgment energy here Okay, so let's figure out what's going on in love because I already see that you're sharing a connection or there's something that's being called to think in a different way or think outside of the box. Okay, you got the trumpets of Gabriel calling these motherfuckers outside of the box. So this could be a new way or a new light that's being shown. Okay, I'm also seeing a new phase that's coming in with that judgment or somebody that is making a choice, a final choice, final decision with the two of cup energy here. So let's see what the romance angels have to say. And love, Cansadians. For the 11th through the 18th. Here we go. Passion. Oh, snaps. You also... Oh, sensitivity. Okay. You also have reconciliation here. Someone from your past is returning to your life. So this could be a childhood friend. This could be a family member. It doesn't have to be an old dust. Okay, but it's definitely saying that there's a reconciliation, a more closer connection than it was before. That someone is either wanting to come back with and have with you, or you're definitely going to have to reconsider who are your allies and who are, are your enemies. Okay, but you definitely have a lot of attraction here coming in. Some of you guys definitely feel alone with this hermit energy, but I feel you're seeing the soulmate energy. Okay, you're all, you've also done enough research to see certain things, but you've got soulmate and honeymoon, so there could be somebody that needs to take some time to get away from the situation, okay? Uh, but I'm getting that there's a vacation or somebody needs to make a getaway soon, then a motherfucker. <laughs> Let's see uh, what's to come for my Cancerians. What's to come for my Cancerians? I keep seeing that two of cups. That Empress energy. I'm gonna cut the deck real quick. Cancerians. One more shuffle. Full energy here. So some of you guys are getting ready to take it all of a sudden. It's time of expression. Okay. Full energy here. So I'm getting that there's an all of a sudden uh, vibe that's coming between you and your partner. This could be just in life in general. All right, I feel some, she's on the swimming pool, honey. So some of you guys could be getting swimming lessons or it's just time to take a dive. All right. So I do feel this is a new beginning. Queen of Pentacles. I'm going to write this shit down, guns, audience. I also feel there's, you know, some financial gains here with the Queen of Pentacles. You might be concentrating on what you're holding on to, your investments. I feel this is also you nurturing outside as well too. But I definitely feel what's to come is you got new beginnings that you could be letting go of. Six of cup energy here. I definitely see that some of you guys could be letting go of some exes from the past. 
This could be a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I'm also getting Leo energy here and the lovers. So there's definitely a partnership that's coming together. Some of you guys are closing out some old little dusty exes from the past. It could be because of the Mercury retrograde. I also have Scorpion energy here. So you got the Ten of, Ten of Cups, King of Cups, Seven of Swords. I feel somebody's planning something all of a sudden with this Nine of Cups. I'm seeing Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio that's making these plans. It looks like they're doing them pretty swiftly because you have the Ten of Cups. This is somebody who wants this family. I'm getting that they're trying to come out of the cold, okay? Or somebody definitely was feeling lonely at some point in time or feeling like they were misappropriated. And now, to me, it seems like they're having to make a decision with you, okay? And here's that Ace of Cups and Ace of Swords here. And there's that Empress. Okay, so I feel there's a new beginning. Somebody's wanting to shower you with some truths, new love. Look at this Ace of Cups, all right? Somebody's trying to pour the love on the dotted line, okay? <laughs> but you have two new beginnings. I'm seeing what's to come is definitely um, a new beginning. This could be in conversation, communication. The angels and your spirit guides are definitely saying to proceed in this situation if you were looking for answers, but I'm definitely seeing with this Empress energy, there could be somebody who's wanting to shower you and dive into your love vessel, baby. That is what I'm seeing. Let's see what you need to look out for. For the 11th through the 18th. Let's get this other deck. What does Ken said you need to look out for? I feel somebody is needing to look out for being guarded. This could be within conversations or just your interactions with these weird ass human beings out here, okay, that don't know how to delicately see things. That's what I'm getting. So let's see what's popping. Yeah, see, there's that nine of wands. So some of you guys, someone could, is needing to sit the fuck down, all right? They might be guarded. They might be having to guard themselves from multiple people, multiple things in the past or actions that they weren't able to take. Uh, but I feel, you know, there's definitely somebody that's, there's that magician, somebody that's uh, definitely needing to sit the fuck back. They could be having issues in the romance department with the Knight of Cups here, okay? Also, Four of Pentacles, holding on and letting go. I'm definitely seeing Aquarian energy here, Cancerian. So let's see, uh, I feel there's going to be a renewal between you and this person. There's going to be some truth revealed in their actions with this King of Swords. You're going to see the King of Wands. You're going to see uh, this person's motives. I also have the Knight of Wands here as well and the Chariot and the Hermit. So somebody's kind of closed off, but they've understood that there's some wisdom that they needed to gain. Could be another Kansetti in here as well, but I'm getting a lot of uh, major Arcanas here. High Priestess. Hermit, magician. Okay, so there's definitely somebody who's either starting something new or they're showing you how they can start over or try to come back, transform. Okay, so Ken said, I was talking to somebody today about transformations and who would match somebody that's completely transforming into something better each and every single time. And it's definitely not somebody who is stuck in the past or stuck on not being motivated to move forward. So I do feel there's a lot of threes here with the three of cups, three of pentacles. Somebody is definitely getting ready to uh, leave behind. There could be some friendships or people that are around that you're just leaving behind or you're turning your back, okay? It's what you don't see or you're just ready. Somebody is definitely turning their back on a situation on outside parties. And I do feel like there's something that's not over with this world energy here in reverse and the lovers. It could be a partnership, okay? Or you just making choices. Can set in. So let's see possible outcomes. We have the emperor, the devil, the fool. So I'm getting that somebody is... Since the devil's in reverse, there could be somebody who's seeing how they need to control and conduct themselves, okay? But I feel like um, for some of you Cancerians, this could be a new beginning, yeah, because you have the two of cups. 
I feel like some of you guys are closing yourself off and being very private to relation to your relationships and showing people certain things here. But I definitely feel um, Kansetti and some of you guys are ready to make some new moves here. Especially once things are revealed to you. Okay, is what I'm seeing possible outcomes. Let's see what the rebel messages have to say. But I do feel like somebody is needing to get their shit together. Okay, this could be their own empire, the way that they're conducting their business. Let's see what the rebel messages have to say. Give me some truth, spirit, for a Kansadian. Don't fucking force it. Allow that shit to come to you. So Kansadians, if this could be, you know, outside parties. Uh, mamas, aunties, uncles, whoever the fuck you listen for it. Don't force that shit because it's the reason why spirit is not wanting you to continue on. It might be some things that you need to see or that you need to uncover first. Okay, because somebody could be being shady. Cansetians. Yeah, it says you're being shady. That could be you, Cansetians. Watch out. Shit could get ugly. You never know, baby. And it's saying you are loved. You are here for a reason. Don't fuck it up okay so i do see oh we got money but i also see some of you guys need to do you stop trying to change people that shit never works so just do you get your motherfucking money and make it rain on your own okay so let's see one of the oracles give me the messages i definitely get somebody is going to have a outpour of money as well too We got Poe, time for change, to learn something new, to use technology and gadgets with wisdom. So some of you guys have a major business money idea that's coming. It could be with technology, okay, or you could be seeing certain things in technology messages, okay, on how you're going to start up. I do see a lot of healing as well, too, when it comes down to you putting your mind into something else when it's time for that change. It says the past returns for some time, so that's what that reconciliation is all about. And being true to yourself because you may see some things karmatically, okay, happening with others. I'm getting that threes could be very important for some of you guys. I'm also getting nine. Twenty-six could be some pretty lucky numbers. There's something behind this one. Let's see. Oh, it says you see clearly clairvoyance. Also, 12 could be an important number and eight. So, Kansetians, I feel like a lot of you guys, karmatically, just sit back and watch these motherfuckers out here because karma could get their ass before you even have to. But I do feel there's a lot of love coming towards you that somebody's wanting to discover. So, let things come. Stay calm. Stay cool. It's saying, and where does the power come from? It comes from within, young grasshopper. <laughs> yeah, so somebody's going to be entering into the dragon. Consent, you got the power within. I feel like you got a wonderful business idea. There's going to be a lot of power, um, you know, type of things that could be coming from an egotistical side of your partner or from other people but there's definitely something that's coming up that you're gonna have to take this motherfucker by the horns okay but definitely entering into a new start a new beginning when i think of dragons i think of them being very protective and hiding their treasures as well okay because some people don't know what you're hiding and the motherfuckers could assume shit all they want to they just don't know okay all right, Cantonians, I love you guys. And I will see you in the next motherfucking video. But you definitely got to enter that dragon, baby. Okay? Peace.